You know, one of the last things I'm thinking that's not working here is just that I would very much like to get my customary diffusion in there. Now, again, coming off the truck, diffusion just kind of has this dreamy, you know, alien woman that uh, Kirk is about to bed down kind of a look to it. But uh, remember that there's a whole host of other saturation uh, presets here that uh, you can use that are, um, uh, you know, one, for instance, just to take con contrast out. This is a very broad diffusion that you can just use as a way to remove contrast. And I think that is the effect that I'm missing from this, is just spreading out the light in the way that a contrast-reducing filter on the lens would do. In fact, that did such a good job that I am going to increase the strength of my vignette a little bit, maybe not that much, but adjust the fall off to kind of push it out towards the corners a little more. Okay, that's going to do it for me. So that's my Where the Wild Things Are look, done using both Colorista and Magic Bullet looks. Um, you know, I think it worked, but I think when I get to this early part of the shot, Eric's so in the dark. A lot of times when you go for these extreme pushed looks, you find that if you have any variation in lighting throughout your shot, it gets really emphasized, you know? So, although I really like the way the last part of the shot looks, it looks very filmic to me and very beautiful. When I get to the early part of the shot, I'm not happy with how Eric looks down there. And that's why I want to show you how Colorista and Magic Bullet looks work together. Because I want to put a little window on Eric here. And uh, I want to be able to animate it. And uh, as you all know, because you've told us 100,000 times, you can't animate the vignettes inside of Magic Bullet Looks. Um, believe me, we hear you on that one. Um, but, uh, but you can inside of Colorista, which is why they're kind of designed to be uh, used as a pair. So actually, I'm going to use an ellipse for this. We'll just pop that around Eric. And... Bring up the exposure on him, um, and we'll do a 75 feather on that. So let's turn that on and off now. There's that colorista on and off. So that, you know, in a sort of non-overt uh, way kind of helps to uh, relight the shot a little bit. And I won't uh, make you endure it, but I could uh, go in and put keyframes on top, bottom, and radius so that I can step through the shot and animate that to stick with Eric throughout. And then the other thing I would do is I would probably animate it to kind of turn off by the time he's right here, right? So let's just actually do that. Um, let's turn... So from here, exposure, to here, exposure, adjustment of zero. Maybe we could let that live a little longer. All right. All right, so now we've got, hey, guess what? I did make you endure it. It didn't take that long, did it? All right, so there's Eric relit coming up the stairs. Let's see if we see any hitches in that animation of that power window. Looks pretty good to me. And by now the power window's gone. And we're back just into our Where the Wild Things Are look for the rest of the shot. Let's watch that. Looks pretty good. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope this inspires you to uh, maybe download some QuickTime trailers from Apple's site. It's a great source of inspiration. You can really you can download these things at 1080p. Check them out huge on your monitor and uh, really try to figure out what they're doing. You might be surprised sometimes that you'll see uh, evidence of a heavy-handed uh, colorist at work. Um, but uh, just take that as inspiration to get into your own software, wh whatever it happens to be, and uh, have some fun with your shots and see if you can make them even better than they were when they came out of the camera. Um, thank you very much, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Now that is what I'm talking about. Thanks, Stu. If you enjoyed this tutorial and you want to learn more about Stu Mashwitz, you can follow his blog at ProLoss.com, a great resource for digital filmmakers and photographers alike. There's also links on the site for following his very active Twitter account, as well as his Flickr and Vimeo accounts. And finally, if you're a digital filmmaker or someone interested in learning more about the digital filmmaking process, you should check out his book, The DV Rebel's Guide, a comprehensive guidebook to planning, shooting, and finishing your own digital movie, which you can learn more about at rebelsguide.com. 
And if you want to take the techniques that you've seen here today and use them in your own projects, we'd like to make it a little easier for you. So from June 23rd to June 26th, we're giving you 25% off Magic Bullet Looks and Magic Bullet Colorista. Just use the coupon code you're seeing on your screen when shopping at the Red Giant store. Anyway, even though he's always been kind of lurking behind the scenes here, we at Red Giant Software are proud to officially welcome Stu Mashowitz to our team. Once again, this is Aaron Rabinowitz for RedGiantTV.com. See you next time.